Welcome back to Let's Deal Hand of Fate. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, I made an attempt against the King of Scales, only to be brought down by the King of Dust. So yeah, that could have gone better. And hopefully, this time, it will. You keep coming back. There is strength in that. Victory is impossible. Wow, that's probably the most straightforward thing he said yet. Arg. I was just gonna say, I thought I had this one already. And this picture doesn't have a, uh... icon on it. Maybe it's changed somehow. Ah, uh, yes, when those were locked into the deck. Those were not good days. Because I don't think you even get anything out of those. It's just like Ambush, except you don't loot the bodies afterwards. Or you do, but there's never anything good on them. Oh, someone left a comment, and uh, here's the part where I edit it in. It was Shadow 9808. Yes, thank you to that burning dog fan. Saying, this comment did, that uh, apparently this fancy metal ore is... Uh, well, at least one of the things you can do to get the older lizard's attention. In addition to bringing it to the Holy Forge and turning it into a kick-ass weapon. Always been there. Well, I guess I would want at least one store, right? find, uh... What was it? I'm trying to remember what I unlocked by getting, uh, the maiden's hair. This. Yeah, it's pretty clearly Mr. Lionel there. Is he the Goblin King? Huh. Deal me in, brother. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. So I don't. So because I don't have a helmet, it doesn't even ask me if I want to wear the stupid. Uh, reduces damage. I don't want cooldowns to be reduced because I'm never going to use weapon abilities with this deck. There's a news flash. This thing sucks. I guess it doesn't count apply to artifacts, but I haven't even gotten an artifact in the last session. Moonlit horror. Will this be your last meeting? This is a really bad start. You arrive at the sacred stones to find the robed druids again waiting for you in silence. For this final ritual, you must place whatever enchanted items you possess in this chest next to the stone table. Our magics are... I don't think that's how you would write that. Are delicate and may not be disturbed. We have brought common replacements for you to use to ward us during the ceremony. 
You refuse? Consider how profitable our arrangement has been in the past. We offer you five times the reward we gave you last time. We place your gear into the chest and take up the old equipment. Now we may begin, the druid declares. But really? Wordlessly, the other monks tear off their robes, revealing nothing but bones animated by dark magic. Their leader pulls back his hood to stare at you with dark, undead eyes. Your participation in the earlier rituals was, uh, by sacrificing those creatures to the Dark One was crucial for this next part to succeed. But now you need only die to complete the ritual and become my unholy champion. This is a bad start. Although, let's face it, it's just as well that I have full health. Do I at least have a shield? No. No! Ow. Fuck me, I did 20 damage. Ah, I am on fire. I am facing the wrong way. Oh, there's more than one! Oh no, I was just aiming the wrong one. Yeah, this is never gonna work out right. My hopes and dreams. I don't know how you're supposed to get that one. Maybe with blessings or something. Once more into the grave. How unfortunate. I mean, if you were really lucky, you could have uh, Wrath of the Gods, or whatever it's called, and it would strike down the Lich. I might be able to take down just the regular ass skeletons, but one come more. on. One more attempt. Let's just do that again. King of, Sc King of Scales, sorry. Again, the Great Lizard will rebuff you. Again, I will never stop trying. That made no sense. Whatever. What's a better comeback in my head? I mean, it's a sword and a shield, man. Do you understand what it is we do now? Or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? Oracle's Diadem. Keep After your eyes open, and your fate may become clearer. After each encounter, all adjacent encounter cards are briefly revealed. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. What an asshole. Dark arts, these. Oh, I'm gonna be so pissed if it's the weapon thing! Spend five food to remove a random curse. In the cleansing light of the gem, you feel your soul purified as it is freed from a curse. Fuck. Fuck! What the hell? I'm definitely gonna get doing badly this time, so let's just jump in. Once again to the auction. You surprise me. I little thought to experience that feeling again. Hmm. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. He means he never expected to be surprised again. In the moonlit ruins of a long-forgotten castle, you know, stop me if you've heard this one before, a host of unholy creatures gather. Gathers. You find the vampires holding another blood auction. Mortals are still allowed to bid using their own blood. You are ushered into the circle of bidders. Tonight's item is a magical ring that you are unfamiliar with. A strange creature comes to you and draws out your blood. You gotta pay, even if you lose the bid, the creature explains. Ouch. You wait while all the bids are taken.
I know it's not this one, but it could be really any of these. Do you lose the bit. The vampires take a break before their the next. Ooh, that's weird. I couldn't speak for a second there. The vampires take a break before the next item, and you decide to leave before they take an interest in you. You know, I can't help but notice that the image for all the blood auctions has nothing to do with what actually happens there. It's a a musty skeleton climbing out of a coffin. That's it briefly revealed. Great. Of course, mages have their own rules. Power, mostly. Well, it brought it up like it's a new card, I think. One day, you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. Since we've been forced to leave our sacred tower, we must make this is new. We must make our own way in this world. For a small fee, it could transport you to a, de to a destination in a faraway land. Since I don't have... Really? Fuck. Fine, why not? Pay five food for a teleportation spell. Hand over the food, and the wizard prepares himself for casting. Wizard waves his young wizard waves his wand, saying, Don't worry, I'm almost always successful in transporting myself to other places. Luggage is a little trickier. After arriving at your destination, you continue your journey. So, that has changed. I mean, it didn't have a token on it. But I'm pretty sure before, uh, that one was about just the guy appearing out of a portal in the middle of nowhere, seeing you, and then jumping into another portal, and you could choose to jump into the portal after him or not. Usually with disastrous results, as I seem to recall. Think about the way we play this game. You continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose. And we learn a story from the monk. Fantastic. You're fucking kidding me! This is a terrible choice when you don't have a shield. This is probably a mistake. I had heard that, uh... And Hand of Fate 2 has more of a coherent storyline. But honestly, I have no idea how that works. But okay. video is not my uh, best performance, I gotta say.
reminds me of the old days. You were genuinely the biggest challenge I'd ever faced. Hey, none of them fell to the floor. Neat. It is a traveling <clears throat> healer, right? Moment, I have a decent amount of food. Just out of curiosity. More health to work with. Much good meat, do you? Well, that makes me feel a lot better. Um, literally. worlds. A thing that cannot be, yet is. All the world is a game board, and us men and women merely players. I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestination. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. So we're going to the Goblin King. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. While walking by a huge tree at the edge of a lake, Mr. Lionel's head appears in the leaves above. Excellent work, my lad, Mr. Lionel declares, sighting the lock of elven hair and leaping to the ground. Didn't have to break too many bones getting this, I trust. Never mind. Best I don't know, eh? He then calibrates the device, turning it over in his hands. This bit turns like this, this knob pushes in here. Not sure this fiddly bit here does. It's working, Lionel gasps with glee as the amulet begins to glow. By waving the amulet around in the air, the goblin somehow contrives to lead you on a haphazard journey over hills and across rivers, until finally you come up to a trapdoor hidden by foliage under an ancient tree. I'm gonna level with you guys. I have absolutely no idea why the uh, what I'm doing here. I have no memory of the card where Mr. Lionel told me to go get some elf hair. Under an ancient tree. Through the doorway, you see a stone cha you see a stone chamber, and hear a variety of strange mechanical noises. There may be some traps. Kings can never be too careful when guarding their treasure. Hmm? I'm sure I mentioned them earlier. Now get in there and steal 50 gold pieces for me. I'll hold your gold until you get out and meet you on the other side. Good luck! With a firm boot to your backside, Lionel sends you tumbling through the trap door.
This too brings back old memories. This place, the end of this place, even. Oh, good, only have fifteen gold. Oh, maybe they should have marked that spot more clearly. At least set the lighting directly overhead. Lionel immediately greets you upon your escape, lifting your bag of gold before you even realize he is there. He counts out the, gold, the coins you managed to retrieve. Hmm, not nearly enough. I want my revenge. Get back in there and get me my gold. With a deep breath, you turn and go back into the maze of gold and traps. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and since it seems this is going to take a while, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Deal Hand of Fate, when we make our way through these mazes again and again, and try to get our hands on sweet, sweet dollar dues. Later!